Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna test two high-end loose powders to set our under eyes and our face. The one that I'm most excited and which is the newest in the market and which is gonna be the laminate of the battle and we are gonna test it the most is this Becca High Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is uh, for $38 and uh, it has 10 gram product which is two less, two less. <sighs> Let me tell you why. This Laura Mercier one is supposed to be the one of the most um, loved uh, pressed uh, loose powder in the market. So this one is also $38, but this one is guys 29 grams, which is three times this size of, there is a hair guys. Let me just take it away. This is, one third the size of Laura Mercier. I'm too upset to know that when I saw that the size is one third. The product is one third. I was like, oh my god, I didn't know that. <laughs> Anyways, one more shocking thing this airspun loose powder is 65 grams, guys. Yes. Now that was a little bit upsetting as well as uh, moving when I'm going to know about that. Anyways, also the Magic Veil Translucent Powder by Arglas is very overpriced. It is $46 I guess and it is also 10 grams. No, it is it is 10.5 grams like literally. These high-end brands are creating so less product and they are charging so hefty. I don't know why. But let's jump into the video what we are doing today. So in this video, we're going to test Becca and compare it to the Laura Mercier, which I know many guys are raving about this and they use it non-stop. So I'm going to be using Becca on my left under eye and Laura Mercier on my right under eye. For the rest of the face also, I'm going to be using Becca only because this is the limelight and we're just comparing it with Laura Mercier for the under eyes part. So this says it is a Hydra Mist powder. It will look like you are applying a fine water powder, like it's a cooling water, like you know what Hydra means. It's a water-based powder, and it will make you feel cool and set your under eyes very well without creasing. So, is it true? Let's figure that out. So uh, it comes with this kind of lid. I really like the packaging though it has that lid thing when you open it all the product comes out so nicely it has a lot of product on sitting on this so i'm just not gonna tilt it that much but this is the, this is a very cool packaging guys and i'm gonna be using the luxe tapered highlighter brush which is very much like an under eye setting powder uh, brush thingy and on the right eye i'm gonna use a precision foundation brush which is clearly not a foundation brush according to me but but I'm gonna use it for you know same thing. Like it has a net net you know what what you can call it? It's a very cloth like ooh, it feels like oh my god, it feels like water, like a setting spray thing. It feels like I'm applying a setting spray on my skin and it's that cooling. So cool the feeling is very nice, it's very luxurious feeling to me i hope it does it does not oxidize the under eye concealer you know uh i just hope that because it is watery and i don't know what formula it is but it, it's not i can't explain this thing let me just come a little bit close like let me just pack on a little bit more so you can see a little bit and i want to feel the cooling thing again like like it i like the cooling effect but a lot of it is like flowing in the air and i feel like my money is running that is what happens when the product is so less and it's so expensive i'm gonna apply it in the rest of the face the face though didn't feel like that much you know hydra like so laura mercier obviously is like this it is a translucent powder same as becca but becca i don't know what it says it doesn't say any shade 
but the Laura Mercier it says it's a translucent it is a more yellow toned one guys so when I smile I feel a little tackiness in my this side like you feel after applying some mask and it dries and you smile it's not happening this side it's just happening a little tightness is happening on the left side I hope that is a not a wrong signal so just oh I see there is no coverage but it has definitely set my under eyes really really nicely I don't see any creasing right away but the rest of the face looks good but it is not very lightweight and it does look like I have some product and a powder on my face and that is not my favorite thing to say so guys I am now seeing that this side is looking a little bit more brighter to me and maybe it has a yellow you know tinge to it so it brightens the under eyes really really well and maybe it has more coverage in the powder itself so i'm i like my right eye a little bit more and the left one feels a little bit tight it almost feels poreless this also feels poreless but it is a little bit more smooth to touch it is more it's, it's not non-smooth but it is like a tight skin lifted you can say firm skin and there is nothing like this on the right eye oh my god I have so much hair on my face I'm ultra close right now and when I smile obviously I have creasing a little bit that happens with any kind of powder but for now I am liking both in their unique way guys there is no creasing right away and I used um, Maybelline issue and concealer which is my go-to you know it is very popular and it's very nice and for for my full face I don't know do not think this is the best powder I have used over my Bourjois uh, healthy serum foundation I have used couple more powder brushes uh, powders which are way better than this one so guys i am finally back after my full face of makeup and my face looks actually alive now go a bit closer again and see how my under eyes and the face is looking like the coverage here a little bit more brighter side is this one and for the more less looking thing it is definitely this one like I I do notice maybe it's wrong it is a slightly oxidizing formula that the concealer here is also looking like a little darker than this part but I do feel this side is looking so much you know blurred out I think this one suits even oily or dry this is kind of formula which is gonna adjust according to your type so if you want a little bit more luxurious one and you want a little bit more less looking one becca is the one you should go for and i suggest you go for a little lighter concealer than usual like go a two shade lighter concealer if uh, not one to make sure that even if it's oxidizing a little bit it won't make your under eyes darker after setting so that is what my opinion about this is and if you are a little bit oily and you do want more quantity this is my opinion for now and i will be back after a few hours to do my final check-in with you guys see ya so guys it's time to test the under eye and the powder finishes i do see that they have been sitting on my eyes and my face for a while and i see a very good stepa both are good in their own way i think it's a tie between these two i can't say one is better than the other the more interesting one is this and the more expensive version is this for the price and if you want a little bit more you know more quantity than for the price you're paying then laura mercier is obviously a better economical one it's all about this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please hit that subscribe button below and also the bell button below to get notification on all the future uploads 
I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.